We will now discuss the main components of your 303 Sidewinder machine. For a complete list of tools and parts that come with the machine, please reference your owner's manual. The main power switch is located on the back side of the machine, just above the power cord. The table handle is located on the left side of the machine and is used to move the table during the cutting process. The vertical carriage handle is located on the right side of the machine and is used to lower and raise the vertical carriage. The tracer and cutter are attached to the vertical carriage and need to be lowered for cutting. The handle can be turned clockwise to lock the cutter and tracer to the correct height for cutting. The cutter and calibration control buttons are located on the right side of the machine. The red button turns on the calibration function and turns off the cutter motor. The black button turns on the cutter motor and turns off the calibration function. Note that the cutter motor will not engage unless the black button is pressed and the carriage is lowered. The jaws are located in the center of the table. Keys are inserted into the jaws and the knobs on the right side and left side of the jaws tighten and hold the keys in place during cutting. The calibration dial is located on top of the tracer assembly. When turned, it will lower or raise the tracer during calibration. The calibration indicator lights are located on the front of the machine and are used to guide you through the calibration process. And the knobs on the front of the table apply tension to the table and prevent it from moving side to side. Now that we have discussed the setup and main components of the 303 Sidewinder machine, we are ready to begin the key cutting process.